The new Fallout trailer is here. It's a couple of days old, but let's take a look at some of the big reveals. We'll try not to cover the same stuff as the first trailer. That said, it's Walton Goggins, not Walter. Please, people, it's Walton. He's either a Vault Tech CEO, as some people claim. I think he's just a spokesperson. Like he's the John Wayne of the Fallout universe doing ads for Vault Tech. Why do I think that? Because he's dressed as a cowboy later on. Telesonic? What happened to Radiation King? A bobblehead. Vault Tech branded. If they don't have specific stats, I'm guessing they're just used for bartering. Collectors might want to pay big caps for them. That's a big belly. Is that the pregnant woman from later or just some fat pre-war worker? Maybe Chris Parnell's one-eyed freak. A regular old hallway. I guess the only thing of interest is the letterboxes. Do they need a mail system in a vault? I mean, it looks like a mailman doing deliveries. Some sort of replicating normalcy? Uh-oh, white mail in charge. This won't stand. Disaster incoming. It won't be some kind of accident like a malfunctioning water chip or a planned failure from vault but gross incompetence, mark my words. Same Ferris wheel landmark from the first trailer. I noticed some people walking about in the foreground. Shady Sands. Is it Lucy and Maximus looking at the same crater they're looking at later on? I'm wondering if Maximus is from Shady Sands and had to leave it after it was blowed up. Lucy leaving the vault, again with the dead body next to the door. Same scenes as the old trailer, the shipwreck, surely not a blimp. A cabinet with some stim packs and another bobblehead. Wonder if she's using the bobbleheads to track someone. Where'd you get that bobblehead? This old duck, I'm sick of her already. Some disappointingly standard looking car wrecks. Could have at least spruced them up a bit. Stick a Corvega logo on them. Is this guy gonna get zapped trying to operate the vault door? Hollywood Boulevard in a flooded city. Lucy seemingly refilling her trusty Vault 13, I mean Vault 33 canteen. She has a cut on her arm, so she's already seen some action. The ghoul's bailing her up. This backs up my theory on him being an actor, with this seemingly being in Hollywood. Are they even rounds in his bandolier? Lucy much later on when she's down to her wife beater. Vault Tech Plan B for all those unwanted pregnancies. Maybe she's come to the surface to look for a doctor because she seems to be handling a lot of medical stuff. Looks like she's down to one shoe in the kitty wonderland. Looks like it could be infested with raiders. At least her Pip-Boy glows. If we don't get someone in armour made out of old tyres, I'll lose my mind. Pretty sweet looking Mr. Handy. Is that a practical model? Don't know about those eyes. Looks dangerously close to Nixie tubes. Pow! Right in the baby maker. This guy again. I swear he's Enclave. She's surprisingly fit for a modern TV show. Normally they cast a kind of weird, quirky chick with a stupid mullet or a massive fringe. She's a solid 9 out of 10. Blondie here doing her best Vault Boy impression. I think I read somewhere she has a brother, so that's probably him. Brotherhood dudes? I'm spying an assault weapon barrel out of the end of that bag. These folks approaching the cast when and appear to all be very young. Did the Brotherhood recruit or have they been knocking boots? Power armor looks good. Basically all the visuals look good. Looks like Maximus was rescued by the Brotherhood, probably stolen from his family though. What a twist! 
He joined the Brotherhood to hurt people who hurt him. He's got some gnarly scars. I don't know about the power armor helmets having visors that lift up. I guess this is one of those the actors need to emote kind of deals. The ghoul is the one with the dog. Is this going to be the only dog in the entire TV series? Looks like they're tracking some footprints. Big ones. Power armor or super mutants? Weird red tip ammo. Incendiary rounds? So Lucy is in the town with the nerdy guy and the old lady shop when the ghoul arrives. Is he saving her from being taken advantage of? At least he blew a hole in her guy, so we know there's going to be violence. Is the old lady Ma June? Well, her and the nerdy guy are both laid low, and the heckin' doggerino is down too. No, you animals! You can't hurt a doggo. The nerdy guy's had his foot blown off, and he looks like he has a doctor's bag. Or is that a famous West Tech canvas power armor helmet bag? Hmm, that's probably the biggest letdown visually. Walton Goggins' neck seems weird. Also, he's not very gravelly. What looks like Griffith Observatory with vertebrates over it? The Robo Docks at it again. The Vault's systems are breaking down. The Horizon Simulator is busted. Kyle McLaughlin as the Overseer looks upset. Lots of seemingly dead people and a woman in a wedding dress. Nice laser pistol. Could be the Enclave. I want an actually evil faction. Definitely an NCR flag. There's the Radiation King. The ghoul watching old cowboy movies he started. Possibly living in the Super Duper Mart. A lot in this image, an IV drip, a control box, someone's foot, what the hell happened here? A Radaway? Some pre-war scenes, seems the ghoul was a bit of a hero, saving a young girl. Maybe he had to watch her turn feral and it broke him, that'd be interesting. Although I don't feel like a nuclear blast is something you outrun. Like you're already irradiated. A Brotherhood Paladin punching a Yaogwai. Are they going to be called Yaogwais? Are they going to be able to implicate China in the war? Ghoul versus Power Armor. That won't end well. You'll need a doggo to distract him. The Mexican Fingering Fish. Brotherhood Squire screaming like a girl. This guy with the bandage on makes me think all of these scenes of carnage inside the vault are a drill. Nerdy guy doing some sort of implant in his own head. This looks pre-war. He looks younger and all his equipment is pristine. There's the super duper mark. Does that mean that the foot was Lucy's? She is missing her shoe. The ghoul seemingly imbibing the tranquilizer dart. How decadent. A crashed vertibird. I like the windscreen wipers. Is that a dancing Nuka-Cola bottle on the dash? Maximus in an office building. Could be in the airship too. Maximus and Lucy. Walking towards the Shady Sands crater. Lucy stomping a rad roach. Weird nuke graffiti. A rad roach on the power armor. Power armor in the vault. The bird with the glass in her eye in trailer number one, now patched up with a vault tech eye patch. She's fairly happy for someone who's lost an eye. I'd be livid. Some bloke getting covered in blood? Or is it jelly? Looks like the nerdy doctor fella avoiding the world's most useless sentry gun. Is this at the observatory? The dog seemingly not caring about the explosions. Lucy helping Maximus. 
I assume this is the ghoul pre-war and the mother of his child? Lucy looking like she's getting the hang of this wasteland stuff. And Walton giving us a wink. All episodes out April 11. Is that a good sign? Usually that's dumping ground territory. Look, the sets, the costumes, the weapons, the props, the clutter, the effects, all look very, very good. My only real concern is the plot. Is there going to be an interesting story or is this going to be more Emil Schlock? Will the characters have real motivations and act accordingly? Or will it just be one set piece to the next as the script dictates? We've had some stinkers lately. The only good shows being House of the Dragon, Invincible and so far Shogun. I just hope Fallout doesn't turn out to be a whole heap of member berries. Member Power Armor? Member Vault Tech? Member Death Claws? Death Claws and Super Mutants, suspiciously absent. I assume they'll be the big reveal. Music. A big part of the 3D Fallout games. They've got the obvious ink spots for the trailer. It's a no-brainer to have some radios or record players in the show playing some classic Fallout tunes. A good opportunity for Amazon to buy the rights to some of these tracks. Anyway, I'm 50-50 on Fallout. It could go either way. There's enough there for someone with talent to work with. And the visuals are already there. My hype level? I want to say 9 out of 10, but I've been burnt by Todd too many times in recent years, so I'll say 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I release reviews occasionally when time allows, and a thumbs up would be a big motivator for further reviews. If you didn't like it, feel free to leave a thumbs down and let me know how I can improve in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Mixie, thanks for your time, and have a good one.